What the hell? Did this almond milk go bad? It's all chunky. Never understand the things that we want. Why do you keep coming back? I want love you don't know. So why are you here? Yeah. Hey guys. Good morning, it's September 2nd. It is the long weekend here in Toronto, so I'm just enjoying the day, the extra time off, um, and I thought I would vlog for you guys. I wanted to do a August check-in for you guys just to let you know how my low buy's been going, how, how my debt repayment has been going. Um, so I thought I would just take you around with me today and vlog my long weekend and also just let you know how last month went and where I'm planning to go this month for the month of September. I'm just gonna update you guys on all of that. So stick around. So maybe I'll just start off with what I think re went really well this month. August was a three paycheck month for me so at the beginning of august i was able to budget out a lot more towards my debt repayment and i was able to pay off almost fifty three hundred dollars to my student loan this month which felt amazing it's probably the most i've ever paid off at once on my student loan since i started to aggressively repay everything and really work towards becoming financially free and debt free and that felt amazing. August was a really good month and I don't know, I'm still trying to learn and figure out if if it felt like a good month because I was really determined or because I was feeling financially secure enough that month because of the amount of pay periods we experienced that month, just the way that month falls. I'm just trying to figure out if I felt good because of me or if I felt good because money was coming in that I could be aggressive with like that money still I got it, it went away I paid off a huge amount of my loan this month um, because I was fortunate enough to get some of that extra income coming in but one thing I've really sort of focused on this month in the month of August is I'm trying to find my relationship or start trying to define my relationship between money and happiness because what I've noticed this month just through a lot of like self-reflection if I'm feeling comfortable about my finances and about if money is coming in or not, if about um, if I've budgeted properly, if I'm sticking to my budget or if things don't feel like tight or if I don't feel stress about money, about overspending, anything like that, then I tend to be more calm, more relaxed, happier, more easygoing. Uh, whereas if, if I'm feeling guilty about money, if I like overspent, if things feel tight, if I was irresponsible with my money, then um, I tend to feel more stress. I tend to take it out on others and take it out on myself and almost perpetuate that previous behavior of shopping and self-sabotage and things like that. So that's kind of like a deep thing that I've been noticing. September has much less money coming in. I've already done my budget. So I'm just really going to pay attention to my mood and how I feel about like my self-worth and stuff like that because I don't want it to be tied to money but at the same time paying off my loan and all of that is tied to money and my feelings of success are tied very closely to that right now. So the more aggressive I'm being on it, the better I'm feeling, which is a great thing, but I just don't want it to be the only reason I'm feeling good about things if that makes sense. Been talking for 10 minutes, look at Chaika. Um, I've got to go to my workout, um, going into Kita's class, so I'll take you with me in there if you wanna see a little bit. And then I'm going to be shooting with my friend Christina, some content for my Instagram. I'm down here at Style Pothica if you wanna follow me. And uh, yeah, so I'll take you along my day and just kind of check in a little bit more as I go through. Take it back so that you don't know my heart is at Don't want you to know I just finished Nikita's class. I am like 
so sweaty. I'm just like, I'm usually like one big pit stain whenever I do that class. It's really hard, but I love it. I always feel amazing and that's why I keep coming back and I'm seeing a lot of really good results. So I don't know, if you guys are in Toronto, come check it out. I'll leave all Nikita's information down below. He is an amazing trainer and just really helped me kind of get my shit together health-wise and stuff. And um, uh, I think when you are going through um, some of the things that I'm going through in terms of just trying to be better um, about yourself, about your own like self-care, um, fitness, health, all that stuff, I think that really goes into, that ties into everything that I'm doing about like stopping shopping, paying off my student loan, and just like trying to get my act together that way. And um, when I feel good physically, I feel even better mentally. Um, so I think exercising and working out and finding a class or a workout or whatever that you really enjoy and that you keep going to just really helps. So that's Nikita's class for me. And again, I'll just leave all that info down below for you guys. I legitimately have like a layer of sweat on me right now. Um, and whenever I go to the gym, I always have my water, but um, I've been, I got, where is it? Oh no, please don't tell me I didn't bring them. Um, I picked up these. I know towelettes or those single loose towelettes are like trash, but these are from the body shop. They're the tea tree skin clearing facial wipes and they, it says they're biodegradable. So they, I guess they don't just go in the trash. They actually like break down so they don't just like destroy our planet even more. But when I'm on the go, this is really like the tea tree line from body shop, not sponsored, nothing like that. I just like discovered it recently, but that works. Like my skin has been so calm and like this is just hyperpigmentation. I have very few actual like blemishes anymore. Whereas before I was like straight up Rocky Mountain. So I'm gonna clean my face with this and then I'm gonna go meet Christina and we're gonna go shoot some Instagram content. So LOL, I said I was going to take you with me as I was shooting content for Instagram and outfit photos with my friend Christina. Totally didn't even vlog, didn't even pick up the camera, forgot all about it. We were really hungry uh, and I think that's what we were mostly focused on. So sorry about that, but I will definitely show you guys how I take my Instagram photos, how I edit them, all that kind of stuff in future videos because I think a lot of you guys did say that you'd like to see that kind of content, so I'm happy to do it. I just got home from work. It's first day back to school, but regular work day for me, so therefore I am trash and I'm wearing yellow for some reason, which is fun. Um, I thought I would, I don't know, while I still have some light because I don't get a lot of good light in my apartment in the evening, that's the reality of Toronto housing for you right there. Light is at a premium, and if you have it now, it's not guaranteed later because they'll probably put up a condo. Um, there are just some things that I guess I wanted to talk about as to how this month went, where I think I did well, where I think I need improvement, and I'm not gonna say where I failed anymore because what I'm learning in this is that considering yourself a failure or saying that you failed at a goal that you're trying to achieve or a goal that you're working towards, to me, I'm learning it's absolutely not it's just not helpful vocabulary to use. It's not constructive in any way. I felt like it used to motivate me to be like, oh, you effing failure, you screwed this up, like get your act together and work harder. But I'm realizing more and more as I go through that, like through this is that that negative self-talk, that like negative feedback motivation overall is not helpful. So instead of saying where I failed, I'm looking at it as a point where I can take and learn from, figure out where my head was at, where my heart was at when I decided to make those decisions that may be considered a slip up um, and just move from there. So let's talk about that. Hey, you like this water cooler background? It's like, it feels like we're having like talk at the office, I guess. And I'm kind of looking at myself because I have a monitor here. I need to figure that out. I'm not a good vlogger, I'm learning, okay? So where did August go? I thought August was a really positive month. Like I said, I figured out that I really wanted to pay my debt off, off aggressively. I think sharing that I even had student debt with you guys on Instagram and on YouTube. For me, having a student loan, I don't know why, I just felt very isolated having that and I felt that having a student loan has been holding me back and I've been using it as an excuse as to why I haven't 
achieve certain things in life that I feel like I should have achieved by this point. And to be honest, I felt like I was the last person in my class with a student loan, even though it's probably not the case, but regardless, I don't know, you create scenarios and assumptions in your mind and you just kind of run with it and that's where you go and I just, I don't know, I felt very bogged down by it and as soon as I let it out in the open and just spoke about it started and just started to speak about it freely, I felt more motivated than ever to get that loan paid off. And as a result, because I was motivated for that reason, I didn't shop as much. I did buy a couple of things. I bought some clothes um, from two of my friends' brands on Instagram. I wanted to support them, but I also recognized that I was influenced by old things that used to influence me, like old impulses when I decided to make those purchases. And in hindsight, I know I could have waited. So that was like a slip up there for me, for sure. Moving into September, I think I'm gonna really try to stick to almost a no buy in terms of like skincare, clothing, things like that. Just as like a challenge to myself because fall fashion is my favorite and all the good stuff comes out in fall, all the good colors, the good patterns. Fall for me is a uh, tempting, quite tempting time. So I think it's just like a challenge to myself. I'm gonna do my best not to spend my money or my budget on anything frivolous. And I did make my clothing budget zero dollars for this month. I mean, I think I grew from that because even though I did buy some clothes, I didn't consider myself a failure. I didn't punish myself and I wasn't mean to myself because I bought those things. I really wanna propel this debt repayment forward. As of now, I haven't predicted a lot of money coming in this month from like my side hustles on Instagram and income that I'm starting to generate from that, which I am so grateful for because it would be one of my dreams to be able to create content for you guys either on Instagram or on here as a sustainable way of living I think in addition or as a replacement to pharmacy so that's also something that I want to talk about in another video so let me know if you guys have questions about that I'm happy to answer them and I think it just really helps me reflect on where I'm going with this and where I want to go with this and where I've been so Keep them coming, you guys are awesome. So yeah, so I think the main thing I'm learning or I learned last month was that I think the more open you are and the more vulnerable you let yourself be about the things that you consider your dark and embarrassing secrets or hangups, which for me is my debt and my shopping addiction that I'm trying to recover from. As soon as I started talking about that and being open with it, with you guys, with my loved ones, things like that, it all just suddenly started to become much easier. I've let go um, a lot of my embarrassment and my shame from this. I'm learning to let go of that and not harbor it and let it sort of multiply within myself so that I'm just like one big ball of stress and negativity and just like like this all the time and just like straight up hating myself for the choices that I've made um, and just continuing to punish myself for that so as soon as I kind of let go and started to be honest and open with you guys about it it's honestly been like in addition to the therapy that I'm going to it's been part of my therapy and I think as soon as you recognize your anxiety and the things that cause you anxiety and sort of embrace it and use it it starts to work for you right back and all of a sudden the things that maybe made you anxious before you might not feel are making you anxious now or you're maybe looking at things with a little bit more clarity and more calm and more calculated and things that, that allow you you know you can kind of plan and make clear decisions um, when something that used to stress you out or you used to flip or freak out about came your way. So I think that's what this month has been about. Again, paying off my loan has felt amazing. I'm really proud of myself. Everybody is in their own journey with that wherever you are. Just throw whatever money that you can. Make sure you budget and just attack that thing with intensity. And I feel like even though I've been trying to approach and attack my loan since the beginning of my low buy year. I feel like this month is the only month where I was like, oh, I have an extra dollar, there it goes, right on there. Like I really 
was laying my money down on it and I want to continue to do that and push myself and see how much further I can go so I think in September I want to be a little bit more strict with myself but at the same time a month is a long time mindsets change and your motivation there's my theme there's my move you guys Motivation ebbs and flows within a month, within a day, within an hour. So keeping all that in mind, I'm just going to try to be as aggressive as I possibly can and continue with those kind of wins with money as I put money down on my student loan. August really, really made me feel like getting out of debt was on the horizon, even though I have quite a long way to go still. It just made me feel like things were possible and I felt really good about it. So. That's where I'm at, and I think that's where I'm going for the month of September. I need to go to spin. Not much of a vlog, really. I tried to make things a little bit more exciting for you guys, but I gotta go work out because I also have a bag of Skittles in my purse that I want to justify eating, so I'll see you guys later. the past don't want to complicate things maybe if i asked was any other